So we'll get back to some more Pokemon Scarlet last time. We took down the Ace Academy tournament into which we stood victorious, in which we also fought the champion once again. Well, the top champion, I should say. And this time, we got some weird errands to run. We're pretty much at the end of our main journey here, and there's really not a lot we need to do now. Remember Miss Reifert saying about uh, those weird pr uh, stakes going around the entire region that we need to get rid of to unlock the, I guess, the sealed Pokemon? Yeah, we're doing that. We're insane enough to go and do that. And this process will be probably be split up into two episodes considering you have to uh, find all of the stakes to unlock the Pokemon. And there's four of them. Well, four Pokemon with like eight stakes each. So, yeah. Way I'm going to tackle this, we're probably going to aim for two of them this episode, and then the other two the next episode. So, if you're following along, this shouldn't be too bad. So, anyway. First of all, we're going after the purple stakes. Each of these stakes are separated by, well, main region. So, down here is for one Pokemon. Uh, I'm not trying to highlight those, but, yeah, for one Pokemon, over here is for another, and then, you know, top left, top right. So, yeah. First of all... We'll be heading over to Artisan for our first main thing. I won't I'll try to be methodical about this. Um these are very much scattered. We haven't even ran across one. They might have shown up in the backgrounds of some of the videos, but I made it a point to not go for them because you can interact with them before then. I do not suggest doing so until you're actually going for all of them, because then you don't have to worry about finding which ones you actually got and which ones you didn't get. So this is our first one. Mysterious purple steak, or black steak, I guess. Pull it out. Because that's fine. There we go. And next up... We're going to be heading on over to Los Platos, I believe. Okay. I think it's somewhere. It's like up here somewhere. I'll set his destination. Meet you guys over there. So I'll try to be as methodical as uh, possible with these. I am kind of following a guide because I don't exactly remember where every single one of these are. Because they're in really weird positions. Like, they're in places that you would never normally go to. Here's our second one. And hey, wait. There's a TM right here. Why is there a TM right here? Uh, okay, struggle bug. I'm never going to use that. Anyway, our second stake. Pull it out. Two down. Next up, it's actually right around here. It's towards this bridge, so I guess we'll just run on over there. So yeah, some of these are going to be really out of the way, like... I'm talking damn near towards the ocean out of the way. It's really weird, and I'm surprised people found these as fast as they did. But then again, you have people scouring the entire region, and you have millions and millions of people playing it. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay, I already see it. Awesome. And a free item to boot. I think that's a Pokemon up there. Oh, that's a Gimme Ghoul. I feel bad not going after all the Gimme Ghouls, but it is such a pain to go after every single freaking Gimme Ghoul for the... Uh, evolved version, aka Golden er, Golden Go. But there is that. So next up, it's like around this area. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, well, it's around this dragon uh, terror raid. So hopefully, I don't get sent to Mesagoza by going over here. Okay, good, we're good. So yeah. These aren't all going to be right beside each other, as it may seem, so just keep that in mind. This does take a little while to go and complete. Hopefully I am right about where this is, or at least hopefully this guide is right of where this is. Because seriously, I hate when guides just don't tell- oh, it's literally on top of it. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, Coridon's just going to eat it, don't worry about it. There we go. And, okay, why? This is, it's all the way back here. Um, Oh, I know exactly where this is. I'm going to go TP over there, beat you guys over there, and just a, uh, just a jiffy. Back on over here. There's actually two back here that, for some reason, this guide is... Well, okay. 
It's my mistake for using an IGN guide, but it's the only one I could find uh, reasonably that was, well, has pictures on it. I'm sorry, I hate text guides, unless if it's something like Persona. And yeah, uh, I'm very much a visual learner. I do not like text to learn things because it easily just glosses over me. Here's our other steak. And I hear a gimme ghoul. And if you're wondering, it's like, well, maybe I could find these if I just go up really high somewhere. Uh, they don't really render in. The render distance on these things is very unforgiving. For example, our next one is on top of this mountain, I believe. So I'll just keep this in and run on over there. But yeah, like if you try to look for them, for them from afar, eh, you're not going to have much luck because the render distance is very unforgiving on these things, unfortunately. But they are working on making the performance of the game better, but at the cost of less Pokemon uh, Pokemon out here. Like, seriously, there's not nearly as many Pokemon there as there usually is, but uh, that's the pain of limitations. <laughs> Into which case we just need... Oh, God. I I saw you at the last minute, and you pissed me off. God damn it. Uh, screw you, Rookity. Get out of here. Why are you level 20? I guess I am in a level 20-ish area, huh? And hey, there's a Dunsparce. That's a rare spawn for a Dunsparce. Anyway, <laughs> getting distracted, as per usual. So, at least the nice thing is we have all of Coridon's upgrades, so it's not that big of a deal to go and find all these stakes. But they are very much out of the way. I don't really care for them to be like this. But I guess they are for legendaries, so I can't really complain. I mean, I can complain. It's just going to be unreasonable for me to do so. <laughs> so, I digress. I'll just keep running up here. See, so yeah, ex uh, expect a lot of cuts throughout this video because, you know, just trying to show you guys where all the things are in reasonable time. So, here is at the Gimme Goals guarding this one. <laughs> Ominous black stick, pull it! Because we're crazy people. Indeed. And next one. Okay, hold on. Let me see if the other one... Okay, yeah, no, they're very split off, so we're going to have to <laughs> teleport for these. So this one, I think... Okay. I kind of get where this one's at. I guess we can just look around. Okay, yeah, wait. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, hold on. So there's the fly. Okay, so it has to be up here somewhere. All right. Meet you guys on over to this watchtower. Yo, know, I will give IGN one thing. At least they don't have it to where the map's rotating. There's that, at least. Because uh, I can't stand having the map rotate, like, when you're actually in the map. Uh, what are you doing? Go up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Up oh, there it is. Okay. Good thing I marked this one. I was kind of off with the marking, but it's fine. Just land here. Our second to last purple steak. Or black. I mean, I don't know. It glows purple, but it's like the color is black. So I guess both are technically correct. Our final one is like way out, uh, way out here. It's actually next to the shrine, I think. Uh, yeah, it's literally right on top of the shrine. So uh, we can't teleport there unless we've been there. Uh, oh god, we haven't really been anywhere close to that. I'm surprised I never went to this Pokemon Center. I guess we'll just teleport to Plus, uh, Los Platos and just walk over there, so I'll meet you guys in a sec. And we are back finally in Los Platos, even though it took like three minutes. Actually, not really three minutes, like 20 seconds. I, I don't know. I digress. Making our way over here because we never really explore this area. I kind of feel bad not showing these areas, but there's no point. I mean, like, yeah, there's a giant swamp over there, and that's where you can get your Paldean Whoopers or wherever you're missing. But, I mean, you know, for the sake of the LP, it never takes you over there, so there's no point. But uh, this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. This is the last one we need anyway, at least for this one legendary. Uh, what is this? I, I want this. Oh, oh, God. What's happening? I t got taken by the river. Can I please? Okay. All that for rare people. That was not worth it. Did I fight you? Up. Uh, hi. That was not talking to you, Whooper. Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, I'll leave you be. Yeah, did I fight? Okay, yeah, I did. Or, no, I didn't, Derp. Just, the door was weird. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, there's the door. And you're gonna already see there's only one barricade left for it, or chain. And the last snake is repicited because how do you seal unholy demons from the outside world? Put their required, uh, was it, locking mechanisms right beside the thing. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. A little off with the marker, but you, sh uh, you guys should be able to follow along uh, decently well. I'm hoping so. I, I hope I'm not trying to be too fast. Um, you can always rewind the video and slow it down if you need to. Like I said, I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. And yeah, mysterious cry coming from inside. Just hop down here. And just like with the Coridon we... Up uh, high. Just, just like the Coridon we fought uh, back in Area Zero, when you fight the Legendary here, it is constantly going to respawn until you catch it. Uh, I'm just going to save for, well, saving measures. Anyway, let's go fight this first Legendary. Uh... A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Touch it. Do it. Uh, don't grab it like that. Why? <laughs> you grabbed it by the nuts. It's a snail. The mystical snail. <laughs> this thing's really weird. But you get some really cool legendary music. And our first... Wu Xin or Wo Wu Wo Chain Wo Chain Wu Chin. I don't know. This thing's weird. I don't exactly remember. I think it's a grass dark type. Um, these Pokemon are very strange. They're very tanky for what they are, and they're very hard to catch. So, a uh, quick ball. Ah, I figured. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. These guys are just very strange. I don't really understand their... Per Please don't one-shot, by the way. I hope this doesn't one-shot. Of course it one-shots. Great. That's nah, just peachy. But just to demonstrate that you can just farm these guys over and over again. Yeah. They'll just reseal themselves in the shrine. And then you just reawaken them. Uh, oh, right. You have to wait for a little time. Never mind. I forgot that. Yeah, you have to wait for a little bit. And to which that means a reset for me. Uh, back in the save. This is why I save before legendaries. It's just a necessary precaution. I believe you don't have to wait for the timer if A, the Pokemon knocks out all of your Pokemon, or B, you run away. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's just I didn't think I was going to... Well, it is a grass type. I probably should have expected that. I actually like this thing's design, though. Uh, Wu Chain. I think it's Wu Chain or Wu Chain. Chain. Chien? Wu Chien? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I actually like its design. It's really cool. It's just these legendaries kind of suck. Yeah, weak in attack of all the Pokemon. So their gimmick is that when you send them out, they have spe uh, specific things that lower whatever stat. So for this guy, it's attack. Uh, I need to start with a quick ball because that's how you sh should start every legendary fight. Because you never know if you get a lucky quick ball. Let's see. One, two, three. Nah. Could have gotten lucky. Ruination. Yeah, that thing hits hard. Uh, I can't. I don't want to risk killing this thing. I didn't think it was level 60. Just tried some dust balls and see what happens. One, two, three. Wow. Okay. You were very. All right. That's Great, thanks. Up uh, later, stinky. <laughs> yeah, Wo Chien. The grudge of a person punished for writing the e king's evil deeds upon wooden tablets has clad itself in dead leaves to be uh, become a Pokemon. Yeah, dark grass type. It's really weird. Uh, I want to check its summary. So, yeah, power of this Pokemon's ruinous wooden tablets lowers the attack stats of all Pokemon except for itself. And Ruination... I can't look at. I have to send it to a box first. Uh, send to my box. Mm. But I'm pretty sure every single one of these Pokemon has Ruination as their uh, move. They're kind of just the same Pokemon. Like These are like the set of Ruin, or the Ruinous Pokemon. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ruination. Uh, rearrange. Summons a Ruinous Disaster, cuts the target's HP in half. So, oh, yeah. It's cool. It's kind of like um, a special version of Hyperfang, 
a dark version of Hyper Fang? Or is it Super Fang? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry. But that's Wo Chien. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, please correct me in the comics. Uh, comics? What? The comments if you... Uh, if I am wrong, because I don't like to be wrong about things like that. I need to get rid of that. that. Can I really not get rid of this because it's right beside the damn shrine? Okay, there we go. Next up, we're going over to the uh, southwestern side of the region. And we need to be... Oh, God. Okay. This is going to be awkward to place. It's like right... Actually, oh, wait, no. It's right, like, here. So, uh, meet you guys in all... F Actually, I'll meet you guys in Cortando. This is probably easier. Back on over here. So yeah, like I said, these these might be a little boring for a lot of people because we're literally just going around and grabbing all the stakes and then cra uh, catching the legendary. And to which I say I'm splitting this into two episodes regardless because it takes forever just to find these stakes. And plus, I don't want to risk making the video way too long. But eh, whatever, it's fine. Besides, the LP is very close to ending, unfortunately. We don't really have a lot to do. Spikes. Just climb up the mountain here. Because, like, yeah, I could go back into Area Zero and catch all of the, uh, what's it, the Paradox Pokemon. But there really isn't any point considering they infinitely spawn. They're kind of treated as normal Pokemon at that point. I mean, the, the only exception would be, like, Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant. But, anyway... Next up, we have the yellow stakes, because they are yellow, black and yellow. Very great contrast in colors. And these yellow ones are going to be kind of a pain to go after. So this one, and it's just because this region is super, well, mountainy. Next one's up here, so we'll just go on fly on over there. Um, oh, right, I, I completely forgot. We can go and catch all the Titan Pokemon. <laughs> Oops, uh, okay, yeah, we'll probably do that as well. Um, now that, like, everything's done, we can actually go back and catch each of the Pokemon that used to be Titans. Now, they won't retain their size, mind you, but they will have a mark saying, like, hey, they were a Titan Pokemon. So, personally to me, the only special one out of the Titan Pokemon would be the Dawn Fan. So, well, Great Tusk and Scarlet, and then Iron Treads and uh, Violet, but... All the other ones are kind of just normal Pokemon with a special mark, but I'll show it. I'll show it eventually. Pull the stake. Next up. At least it's kind of following a route. Uh, we want to be... Oh, God. I think over here. Okay, yeah. It's straight in the middle of this little circle next to this river. Or, I guess, waterfall. So, just go on over there. But yeah, it's kind of a shame. These are the only legendaries in the entire game. There's only five of them if you count Coridon. So now this is excluding any DLC. So we won't know for a little bit until that point. But as of right now, there's only five legendaries, one of which is given to you and the other four you have to actively go out and find. But you can you can go and do these as early as getting all of your uh, classes done. Like, if you do all the eight gems. So, we could have done this for a long time. It's just, I wanted to make sure we were prepared for it. So, here is our third stake. Right in the middle of this little crater area. And this one, or this next one, we're going to have to go out of our way a little bit. So, we need to be... Okay, let me back out. So, okay. So, I kind of see where we are believe it's okay yeah it's up here up uh, stop doing that so i'll meet you guys over to this pokemon center right here back on over here these stakes are really not that bad to find especially if you have a visual guide i i'm actually surprised that this ign guide is leading me the right direction granted i mean i could have i would have uh organized these stakes to make more sense but i mean hey at least we know where they are. So we want to go up here. I don't think we ever went to this watchtower, but eh, whatever. I don't even think you can t uh, fast travel to that one anyway, since the Pokemon Center's right there. Uh, where is the- There it is. It's up here. 
Lots of things I could have collected, but I am not wasting any more time. I say as I pick up a small XP candy. So anyway, there's our fourth yellow stake. And number five is actually right next to us, I think. Um, yeah, it's over here in this little corner. That's what I'm saying. Like, these are really out of the way and hidden. I mean, which is nice. I mean, I'd prefer it to be hidden than if they were just randomly strewn about in your journey. Where it's like, hey, what is this thing? And then the game ropes you into doing all of them. But, I mean, hey, they are, they, they are cool. So... I think the way they did it was just fine. Uh, can, can you the damn thing? Heavy slam. Okay, that's completely pointless to me. Just head on over to this little corner. Should be, like, right in this little thing here. Yeah, there we go. And Twitch is say, who the hell put all these down? <laughs> and how? Like, these are very mystical. There we go. Number five. Onwards to number six, which is literally right behind Kaskarafa. Um, yeah, I'm just going to teleport to Kaskarafa and walk around. Over back to Kaskarafa. Be careful when you're jumping up to these places because the game likes to try to teleport you over to an elevator for some reason. So it takes precedence over that, apparently. Just hop up here. It should be right around here somewhere. I may have to go up another level. Uh, oh, no, I don't. It's, yeah, it's right back here. And to which I say, why would you put this thing behind such a nice little city? Then again, it was probably here before the city, and no one messed with it. There goes number six. Number seven takes us all the way back down here. Yeah, I don't know why either. Uh, okay, this is going to be awkward. Yeah, this is going to be real awkward to go after. So I think it's this little step here next to this river. We'll take a look around. Um, where's the closest place? I guess the easiest would be going from here. So, yep, yeah, meet you guys on over there. And on over here. We ride on over... Oh, God, this was a mistake. I now see the giant mountain that we have to go over. Uh, whatever. I did, I did this to myself. There's nothing I could really say about that. So, yeah. It is actually kind of fun going after all these stakes, because, uh, you know, when you look them up, it's like, oh my god, I never actually went over here, and you realize how much you actually miss. But again, there's no reason to ever come over to these areas. I mean, yeah, to explore, but, like, there's nothing advantageous besides these stakes, and, well... You can literally go through the entire game without knowing about these stakes. If you just ignored all the professors, you just would completely miss them. And speaking of all the professors, I'm probably not going to go and talk to them all in this LP. Simply just because they only give you, like, random crap, like XP candy and stuff. So, I'll probably just leave that be. At least for now, so. Anyway, there is our second to last yellow stake. In to which case, this next one is kind of a dick. So, okay, so we want to be over... Oh, God. Okay. I think I know where this is going. Yeah. So, there is this tunnel entrance here. I don't think we ever really went to it. Uh, Yeah, easiest place is going to be teleporting here. Meet you guys over. Back on over here. Into which we run. Actually, I think we did go through this tunnel because I remember saying, like, hey, I'm going to go through this tunnel because I went over here to go and grab some TM. I don't even remember. Oh, right. It was for uh, Earth Power. That's right. Yeah. So now we just run on over to this uh, tunnel, into which case I'm surprised we never found the stake by accident. But, uh, I mean, hey, I guess that's nice. So, yeah. But, yeah, there is two entrances to it. Um... I think this is the one we want. Oh, it's like right there, I think. Or, no, no, it's not it. Is this what I want? Up, uh, I was not even looking at the game. <laughs> I was not even looking at the game. That was my fault. <laughs> Run away. I think this is what I want. Two entrances, others directly east. Uh, what? Okay, that does not even help me. 
let's just look around and see, because that's what we got to do. Um, hmm. Okay, this guy might be a little awkward, because it's just showing me a map picture and then an exit point. So I don't even think, well, actually, maybe this is the way. In which case, where is it? Oh, this is going to be a pain to find. Oh, God. Okay, this is definitely not it. Okay, I think I found where this thing is supposed to be. The guy that was looking at was look like telling me to go in a completely different direction. Yeah, it's right here. God, that's annoying. I hate guides, man. I oh my god, Jesus! Like I swear to God, dude. When I look up different guides, it's sometimes such a pain in the ass. Uh, now we have an angry leopard that is going to stab her face. Ugh, that was annoying. Yeah. It wouldn't even, like, the, it was showing me here. So I was like, okay, maybe I go through this place. No, you go over to this entrance on the side towards the beach. I didn't even know that existed. But here we are. Ugh, my god, that is so stupid. Anyway, let's get rid of this. The entrance, where is the thing? Is it? Oh, yeah, okay, it's over here. So make our destination and meet me over to this Pokemon Center. Okay, after all that, God, I am actually annoyed by that. Uh, I swear, some, I mean, I'm not saying every guy does this, but like, all the major ones that pop up in the first, like, few results should not, like, mom, oh my God, I, I, ugh, I'm losing all my words here because I'm so annoyed. Like, why are that the first ones that pop up are the ones that are very inaccurate about where things are? I, I don't understand it, like, at all. It's so damn annoying, but... Anyway, it is what it is, but I just... Despite that, it's probably my fault for looking up a guide in the first place, and I should probably fact check it before I even do anything with it, but... Here we are. It's inside this cave, I believe. Uh, it should spit us right out here. Hey, Levitar, hi. Uh, more Larvitars. Or maybe I just go back around? It's probably just around here. We're gonna have to climb. I went through that cave for no reason. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least there's Larvitars there if you want it. There it is. As per usual, make your save in case you accidentally one-shot this thing. And let's go fight the second of the four Ruinous Beasts. Which I actually really like the designs on all these guys. I just wish they were better legendaries. Seriously, they're not that great. Rumble, 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 rumble. I will say, though, this is probably the best of the four legendaries, though. Look at this thing. Its saber teeth are literally just swords. Our second of the beasts. Eventually. Xian Pao. This thing is really cool. Dark ice type, so be very careful with trying to attack this thing. This thing is very powerful, competitively so, and just generally so. This thing is really good. It has a really insane attack stat. It's really fast. It's pretty much a Weavile on crack. Like, it's super good. I never healed Kaiju. Well, that's just peachy. Uh, it's not dark, so we gotta use Ultra Balls. Well, it's not dark outside, I should say. But all of these Pokemon are gonna have a dark typing attached to them, so... Which, you can either take here or there. Ruination... Well, well, I'm dead from that. Up, oh. oh right, it's half of whatever you have. That's right. Ultra Ball, please catch. I can't afford to attack this thing. <laughs> Ugh, because I'll just one-shot it by accident. You really just want me to have one HP, huh? Well, you can't get me lower than that unless if you use a different move. So yeah, Shein Pao is actually a really freaking good Pokemon. I actually highly recommend trying it out. It's a really nice Pokemon. What do you... Is that gonna kill me, or is that just gonna... Oh, it does kill. The game just does not care. Okay. Thanks. Alright, whatever. I'll just throw out a uh, suit. Actually, you're gonna be weak to... And no, we'll... Actually, we resisted, I think, as a fairy. So, yeah. I love the battle themes for these Pokemon. Like, I just... I don't know why Crydon doesn't have his own theme. It's really sad. Granted, he's basically not technically a legendary. He's 
technically a paradox form of uh, what's his name uh Psychozar. but even still it's a he looks different than all the other ones he's practically a legendary so uh no catch for me i really don't want to attack this thing by accident well i don't want to one shot it by accident um you would resist this don't kill it please ruination it's pretty much the only thing you can do to me right now foul play all right well i did some damage at least i'll just keep spamming foul up uh, there you go you're finally attacking me you killed tsukiyami okay <laughs> yeah it might take a little time for these legendaries because sometimes they like to be caught and sometimes they don't it just really depends on rng but I always attacked it a little bit, so it could help. Also, uh, I should preface this. These legendaries are shiny locked. You cannot get shinies of these Pokemon, at least through resetting the game over and over again. It sucks, and I hate it, especially for Xi'an Pao's uh, shiny, because it just reverses the colors on it. So instead of a white ti I, Okay, I don't... Is this supposed to be like a Sabertooth Tiger or like a Leopard or something? I, I, I think it's supposed to be a Leopard, but... Instead of being all white, it's just jet black, and it looks so good. I love its shiny form, but alas, Game Freak does not let you, <laughs> does not like it when you shiny hunt legendaries for some reason, so a lot of things are shiny locked, which everyone just gets annoyed by, but that's how they make special Pokemon and mystery events and stuff like that, which we haven't really had a lot of, to be honest. We haven't had a lot of Pokemon, like, being given out at mystery events which is kind of strange actually thought you would have had some or even like the GameStop codes for god's sake but eh whatever one two no <laughs> I know I'm wasting a lot of balls but again if I attack this thing I'll kill it because <laughs> like, I'm just way over leveled for these guys but uh, we'll just keep trying and besides I'm kind of just elongating the episode by them not getting captured but if it takes a really long time then i will just cut ahead to when it is caught you kill charge bolt great <laughs> i do love the music though the music is great it's just again it's a shame that the box legendary didn't have its own theme i don't know why but uh, whatever i'll stop complaining do i have timer ball still i do let me try it i don't know if it's been more than 20 turns but might as well try it, right? You do kind of fit the ball. Okay, you did not like that at all. Yeah, Sheen Pao is really good competitively. I I mean, it's just really strong. So, uh, I guess we'll just keep... You are definitely one of luxury. I mean, you would look really good in the luxury ball. Just saying. One, two, three. I thought you agreed, man. Come on. Uh. You know what, maybe maybe if it's the second try, maybe you'll agree. You know, maybe the first ones was a fluke. Maybe there was something wrong with it. Maybe it had a little scuff. Okay, no, you're just a bit <laughs> you're just a dick. Alright, well Prey has lived at least. Uh again the Ultra Ball. I am not even gonna try with Premier Balls. Catch rates in this game are dumb. Then again, not as bad as Gen 4, but hey, that's ne neither here or there. Sorry, Prius. <laughs> This is usually how I try to catch legendaries, though. I don't... Again, I really should have went after these guys earlier so that I would have been able to just lower them at a reasonable rate. If I knew Tsukiyomi could just whittle it down a little bit, I would have sent him out first and just whittle it down. But he's dead right now, so I can't really say anything about that. Ugh, I love this Pokemon's design, though. It's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, come on, stay in the ball. I want to keep... Okay. Come on, Murder Cat. Uh, Ruination. You really like spamming that move. Ugh. And, of course, I have leftovers on everybody. <laughs> Damn near. Okay. Come on. Stay in the ball. Your snail friend was very forgiving. So, I already have your snail friend. And it's only a matter of time before I catch all of the rest of your friends. So... To stay in the damn ball and is making it even longer by having the leftovers on I did not think things through with this and I refuse to use the master ball because I am weird come on damn it brother come on 
Uh, I can chuck balls all day, Mr. Cat. Or Mrs. Cat. I don't know what you are, and I'm not going to bother to check. Ultra Ball. It's the 69th one, which means it's the funny number. Okay, you do... You're more mature than that, apparently. I don't know if timer balls actually work twice in a uh, battle. I think the way they work is, like, if it's around 20 turns and has, like, the highest chance of catching, if it goes above 20, then it resets its catch value. So, I think that's how it works. I'm Don't quote me on that. I'm going to try it again just to see. Uh, timer ball. And also, Squillium is, like, the worst person to have out here because he's quad weak to ice. One... Okay, they did not really care for that. I don't think you have any more icicle uh, stuff anymore. I don't think you have any more PP for that, so, uh... Pokeball! Because, why not? I'm just throwing random shit at this point. You never know what works. Okay, well, definitely that's not gonna work. I digress. Come on, man. You got, like, one or two more shots before it kills me, so... Ultra Ball! Damn it. Uh, okay, yep, I'm dead from that. <laughs> uh, I'll meet you guys back when I actually catch this thing. A crit hit, really? Was that necessary? Finally, Jesus. Oh my god, that took about 20 minutes. <laughs> and almost everybody on my team is dead. It took a freaking burn from flame body from a Matarasu to take this thing damn near red health just to get it. This Pokemon can control a hundred tons of fallen snow. It plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it has caused. Thanks. Ugh, screw you. Jesus. That took friggin' forever. Oh my god. Two down and two to go. We'll read up on our new snow leopard here. Xian Pao, it's still burnt. So yeah, Ru uh, sort of ruin. So basically lowers the uh, defense of all the Pokemon around it except for itself. It's really freaking good. Uh, what are the EVs on it? Uh, uh decent. We got really good ones on Wochain. Yeah, or Wochian. I think that's how you say it. But anyway, after all of that in an hour-long freaking recording, screw you, stupid snow leopard cat. Anyway. Murder cat. Next time on Pokemon Scarlet, we'll be going after the remaining two ruinous, uh, well, Pokemon. Yeah, that really ruined the surprise on that. Yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.